This is the uh, CentOS machine. You can check out the operating system, CentOS Linux 7 and the kernel version. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install the strong swan package so that you can configure the site-to-site -site IPsec on the Linux machine, which is our CentOS. And in the previous video, I showed you how to install the strong swan package on the Ubuntu uh, server. So if you want to know more about uh, the same, you will have to check out the previous video on Ubuntu server. This video is for the CentOS and the steps remains the same for the RHEL, Red Hat uh, operating system. Let's get started. So first of all, we'll have to install the e EPL uh, releases, which contains the strong swan package. So DNF is available with the distribution above seven. Soon a yum is going to be replaced by DNF. Not sure about it, but yeah. So first of all, let us install EPL release. Now let's try to install the actual strong swan package. Okay, seems like I already have the strong swan package installed. So you can check out the strong swan version. You can check out the strong swan version and everything. Let's try to check out the uh, service status. It is loaded and active. If it is not active, well, you can use the keyword start. And if you want to enable this during the boot, you will have to enable the same in system CTL so that it starts the strong swan services each time it reboots. So we'll look at the file which contains the configuration. So the first file that you see, ipsec.conf, is the actual file which contains the information about your uh, IPsec connection with the uh, phase one and phase two proposals. And the third file that you see, IPsec.secrets, will actually contains the information about the peer IPs involved in the VPN connection and the corresponding uh, pre-shared key. So you will not see any uh, information or configuration inside this 
ipsec.secret by default because it is just a simple IP address and the corresponding pre-shared key. But you can check out the content inside IPsec config, which will contain some of the sample connection types. All right, so in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, configure the IPsec side-to-side -side VPN on this particular machine. And probably will show you some of the configuration when you have some other firewall on the remote side. That's all in this video. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one. Bye.